And a good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the true. Hope you're well today, hope you're feeling grand and always in your world. I need to calm myself down. It's not going to happen. But today, everybody, we're looking at this. I've been wanting to review this since I got it, and I'm still in love with it. It's... Yeah. Okay, this is the Orange CR30, everybody. This is the older model of the Crush 30 there. This isn't the newer model. Uh, and I do somebody, I do know somebody, sorry, who's got the newer CR30. So, if I can get hold of that at some point, uh, I might be able to do an AB comparison between old and new. Which I think would be quite interesting, actually. It'd be quite interesting to know. So, uh, so yeah, this amp is amazing and I love it very much. And it just sounds glorious. Absolutely glorious. This thing sounds massive as well when running pedals for it. Uh, the intro jam, what you heard, was just my bare bones pedal board. The, the looper and everything was going into the front end. There's no effects loop on this amp, so I couldn't use the ditto. I just used the looper that was in my uh, Line 6 Delay modeler. And when you tweak your pedals down to the level of the, the looper and get everything right... Looper city, here we come! Anyway... Um, but yeah, sounds absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. It sounds, it, it loves pedals. It loves being straight in. It loves all sorts of different guitars. This amp is ace. Absolutely wicked. Uh, this one's had a very kind of tough but sheltered life, if you know what I mean. Um, the speaker sounds like it's on its last legs, which makes it sound really, really nice. Although it's low end, can get a bit fuzzy sometimes, but I quite like that. Um, so I might need a replacement speaker at some point in this, but it, it's still got lots of life left. But it's got that feel. If you're not, if you if you know what I mean, like when a speaker's nearing the end of its life, they, they tend to get they sound really amazing when they're really worn in, but they have a a certain feel to them that they're wearing out. If that makes any sense, so much in the same way like a valve amp does. Like um, yeah, when when a valve amp sounds starts to sound like absolutely amazing, normally it's about to die. Sometimes, in, well, in my experience, anyway, not all the time though. But like, there's that there's that certain thing you can get you get a feel for these things of like you know when they're wearing out and that when they sound different. This still sounds amazing, so I hope this speaker lasts for many many years to come, uh, which I'm sure it will. But anyway, I'm waffling. I'm waffling. Shut up, waffling, Dave. Uh, so yeah, very simple amp, two channel, clean distortion. Got a real spring reverb in this thing, which I absolutely love and adore. Uh, and I want to play some surf stuff on it, so the Jaggy was going to have to come out today. Um, it's just dead simple. You know, uh, low, mid, high EQ section, shared EQ over both channels, single speaker. It's an, it's an unbranded speaker. I don't know what the speaker was they used back in, but it's not a voice of the world speaker. It's just an unbranded speaker. And it's a 30 watt amp that goes extremely shockingly loud. Uh, I'm going to attempt to gig with this. And then I'll get back to you whether you can gig with it or not. But I am going to attempt to gig with this um, the next time I get to play live. I'm going to use this and see if I can um, see if it's kind of usable in a live situation, so to say. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure it will be, but I, I really can't wait to find out. And I really can't wait to gig it. Anyway, uh, it's a semi-closed back. There is a little port at the bottom, but it's, it's pretty much a closed back cab, which again, I think helps with the low end. Uh, the cab is ported as well. You've got four holes. Uh, on each corner to, to you know to aid in the air movement, it does help as well. It makes it sound bigger, I think, having these portholes. <laughs> it's not a ship. Anyway, the SS Orange. Permission to come aboard, sir. Anyway, I'm a bit excited. I bet you can't tell. So anyway, uh, today what I thought I'd do is just basically the usual thing. Oh, and by the way, there's no there's no kind of guesswork on where to mic this thing up because sometimes when you do when you're micing up like basket weave cabs or checkerboard cabs or something like that. You have to get the torch out to find because you can't see the speaker. There's no, you know, you, you you can't miss that, can you? You can kind of tell where the speaker is on that. I really need to calm down. I'm I'm proper hyper. I'm proper hyper. But it's an orange amp, so what do you expect? Um. So yeah. So I'm just gonna run loads of different guitars into this amp today. Get as many different tones as I can out of it. And uh, yeah, let's just go from there because I love this thing so much. So it's gonna be Revelation, Les Paul, Jaguar, Squad Jag. Um. I'm sport for choice on the strap front. Uh, I still don't have my telly here, so I can't use the telly right now. But um, but yeah, let's dive into it. I'm going to shut up waffling. Orange CR30, everybody. Older model. Mm. I like it very much. <laughs> Thank you. 